Morning, everybody. This should be uh, very interesting. We're at the top of Angeles Crest. It's a beautiful day for a drive. And this is Jeff. Thank you so much uh, for coming down. Wicho Impala. Yep. Are you running 20 inch blades? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Uh, you know, I love the oddballs. I love when uh, when people try and make slow stuff fast and, yep. and do different things. So tell me about your Impala, sir. It's a 2002. Uh LS 3.8 liter. Uh, things I've done to it be it ported the front manifold. Uh, it's got an exhaust, electronic. It's lowered, 18 inch rims, uh, racing tires. So what are they? Uh, they, right. they I saw Brit, uh, Bridgestone. Yeah, Bridgestone Potenza RE 71 Rs. So that's a bit more tire than most people would need for this. Yeah. Impala. Uh, so how much how much power is this thing supposed to be making? Uh, stock should it should be 200 right now. It should be. Between 230 and 240. Okay. Not tuned. All right, and it's automatic. I assume it's a four-speed yep. automatic, yep. right? Four-speed. So should I manually shift it, do you, or do you just leave it in? I say just leave it in two. Leave it in two. Yeah. Okay. And uh, 81,000 miles. Please tell me your grandma gave you this car. She did. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's so appropriate. Yeah. Of course she did. Yeah. This yeah. is like this is. A, oh, I got to adjust your your steering. Oh yeah, go for here. it. This is. Uh, this is a grandma car. I, yep. I, I, but you know what? My grandma mm -hmm. had a Cadillac Catera. Oh, my nice. Grandma, my grandma, I love her very much. She's 97 years old mm. right now. Bought a brand new Cadillac Catera when, when I guess 2000 or something around yeah. this around this mm -hmm. period. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and she's now at 97, a little too old to drive, but I, mm. I wanted it. It had 10,000 miles on it. I oh, wanted wow. it so badly. Yeah. So I understand the love for the grandma's car. Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what she do. Yeah. Power. Actually, I actually got this at. Uh, it came into our possession at around 45,000 miles. Okay. So I put on a good amount. Yeah, forty thousand miles or so, thirty-seven thousand miles. Yep. All right. Have you done anything with the suspension? Uh, it's lowered. Just, so lowering springs is that it? Correct. Okay. And some big ass brakes in the front. Yeah. Did I see a Cadillac V caliper in the front? Yes, you did. Where did that? Is that off a first gen V? I believe so. It's a uh, four piston. All right. Well, your well, your brake pedal is quite tight, sir. Yeah. I also actually uh, power stop. They sent me the Street Warrior Z26 for the rear. Uh, carpet ceramic pad, so that helped a lot. Yeah, the rear was lacking. Are you saying the 2002 Impala does not come with adequate braking for canyon driving? It does not say it ain't so. <laughs> I heated them up and I uh, destroyed the rotors. <laughs> wow, it's so clear that you have a ton of tire on this thing because yeah. it's re when you load it up, it's, it feels really planted. Yeah, that's no, what I was no. going for. So this is, you have a two mode exhaust, right? I loud do. and quiet. So this is quiet? Yep. All right, so we'll throw it in loud. You gotta let off in a second. I'm off. All right, I'll get on. No, it needs to, it needs to go into neutral because the RPM oh, really? is still a little too much back pressure. Okay, here. too much back pressure. All yeah. right, well, fuck it, I'll coast. I'm coasting. Let's make it loud. All right, give it some gas. No. No, not yet. No. Come on, cut out. Come on. Oh, it does sound it does sound kind of good. Oh, that sounds louder. No, maybe. No. No. That's all motor. When, when, the, <laughs> when the electronic cutout is open, uh, you want to shoot yourself in the head. Well, for those watching, uh, if you want to hear what it sounds like with the cutouts open, here's a drive-by shot where it's definitely open. second go go this steering wheel is one of my most loathed steering wheel designs really? of all. I hate how it looks do you, do you, are you it, about it is it wheel? is a little fat looking and <laughs> bulbous it does it, it looks like the kind of it looks like it's designed after the kind of person who spent 80 percent of his life in this car yes that <laughs> is true that, in I New York that. City in the 2000s they were using these things as cop cars and oh, man, did they, they get the shit beat out of them by the cops. They were, re they're, there's still a few of them running around and they look rough. I bet. 
I'll tell you what though. For for a big floaty front wheel drive Malays era GM, it gets around a corner, doesn't it? It does. That was the point. Tell me about your lack of door panels. It can't possibly be for weight reduction. No, it's not weight reduction. Uh listening to a song my brother slammed the passenger door so I had to fix the track and put it back. <laughs> you just haven't gotten around to putting it back in. Exactly. And then the uh, driver door, the window would go up and down uh, but not by control of the button as you'd <laughs> like it to so I figured it was the track but I guess it just happened to be the switch so I tore that apart just to replace the switch. Okay. Well, second gear is crazy long. Yes it is. Like I'm not going to say what speed I'm doing right now, but I will say that second gear has got to be good for 85 miles an hour in this car. Yeah, it'll take you more than 85. Is it more than 85? It'll take you around 93. Second gear! I think, I forget what it is in the Z06, second gear is good for a, for a long way. I think, you can do, I think you can do 65 in first in a Viper. Wow, that I is think. insane. I know you can do 0 to 60 in first in the, the 2013 GT500, and I think maybe the wow. Viper. Someone's going to someone's gonna call me out on it. But there are a couple gears, cars where you can do 0 to 60 in first, but that's, in an Impala, 90 being good for second is hilarious. Yes, and that's where I make uh, most of my powers in second gear, I'd say, because uh, I have a high-velocity intake insert, so around 5,000 RPM, it pulls much harder than it, you know, it would break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a low-end torque engine. It's a no. Top-end power. Let's see. Oh, turning radius is acceptable. Oh, now more. that's over. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the neighbors will love this one. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they make it electric, because they kept complaining. That it was yeah, out. no kidding. But it does act as a seat massager. It does. I'm really getting a nice, like, vibrato massage yeah. in, my, in my bum right now. Yeah, you know, it's, at some speeds, if you let off the gas, it actually uh, makes like a gunshot sound. Everybody's always amused when I take them for a ride. When I was eight, uh, 19, I put open headers on my Corvette. Oh, I thought man. that was a really good idea. It was not. <laughs> it was not at all. Yeah, that, that, that's got to be insanely loud because this is a, just it a was V6. super loud. It was really dumb. Yeah. Oh wow. All right, can we go back to quiet because damn, do yeah, I have to go back in, to neutral again? Yeah, throw it in neutral. So. All right, we'll coast. That was it. Was I, I was getting hard of hearing from that? Let's see, give it some gas just to see. That sounds like that's, it's, it's It's gonna be a little bit open, but it should work. That's so funny. All right, well, good things about this car: it rides really well. Yeah. And it's very spacious, obviously. Mm -hmm. It, uh, don't take this the wrong way. It smells like every 90s GM car I've ever been in. That's why. They all smell exactly. You know how Volkswagens have the crayon smell? Yes. Old Volks. This one has the uh, pine tree air freshener yep. smell. Yeah, that's exactly what was in here. <laughs> all, they all do. But, again, context. If you look at this as a brand new car, yeah, it probably kind of stunk. But yeah. if you look at it as a free hand-me-down car, exactly, it's totally decent. Like, oh, there's some little backfires, yeah. Yep. Like, I would think that it would have a lot more rattles and stuff in it, than it especially considering the lack of door panels. Nope. And, you know, what you're hearing is that's actually just rocks being thrown up by the, uh, yeah. the Tenzas. It's, dude, it's, it's actually pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's only, uh, I'd say, two-inch drop. 1.7 in front, 1.5 in back. Well, that's that's sort of a lot. Although, I, admittedly, this is you were starting from a different position. Exactly. It's not like you're talking about lowering a Corvette two inches. And I still have the uh, 45 ratio on the side. So yeah, no, it it, it, ride, it rides pretty good actually. Yeah. Power. And that's full throttle, hammer down. You're right though. It does it does pull okay up top. Yeah. It's not like. It's not that slow. No, it's really it, not. But it, it's for me. It's I just like cornering with it. I don't really use it for top speed because it's still electronically limited. What's it limited at? Like 109, something uh, really low. That probably has a lot more to do with the tires that came on it. 
bet you can remove that pretty quick. Not that I'm recommending that at the start. But, dude, you know, I, I never argue with a free car. Yeah, or, or no. Or free or close to it. No, absolutely not. There was a girl I went to high school with that complained her parents got her an Acura and not a BMW. Yeah. And I never spoke to her again. That was the last. I was like, free car! What are exactly. you talking about? And you can't, but you have actually managed to improve it. Yep. And I, you can make an argument that the, the cutout hasn't improved it, but the suspension and the wheels and tires and the brakes, like, you could come run this road. You could come run this road and uh, have a good time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Your dash does strongly resemble the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, though. <laughs> Got ABS light, check engine oh, light. Oh yeah. Traction control seems to be permanently off. Yeah, you know, uh, you gotta get a good mechanic that <laughs> that replaces what needs to be replaced, not yes. not cheap up on it. <laughs> so, uh, with that said, that's the reasoning. Well, look, in a car like this, if forward motion continues, it's not that broken. No. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's only a little broken. Exactly. It's not that broken. The check engine's only for, you know, uh, emissions purposes. Ah, we don't need those anyway. Yeah. Well, you know, despite the, the lack of steering feel, it actually does, uh, it does get around corners. How about that? Yeah, thank you. Hey, look, I like an oddball, and this is, this is a weird one. And, uh, <laughs> but it does the things that you said it does. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> it's not bad. If someone out there has a grandma who's uh, who's offering these up, take it. Yeah, definitely. It's a free car. Exactly, free car. Thanks, Jeff. That was thank a lot you. of fun. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And we'll mm -hmm. see you next time.